Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea, Rhea for short, and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. It is from the 14th to the 20th of September 2020. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. <clears throat> this is the Tarot Grand Lux. <clears throat> oh, it's interesting, I've just got a frog in my throat as soon as I start your reading. Um, this is the Tarot Grand Lux, Aries. There we are. And this is you. Wow. I mean, the Queen of Wands for me as a reader is you. It feels very beautiful. It's always a wonderful sign when your card comes out. Certainly is your overarching energy here. <clears throat> okay. What do we have for Aries, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Aries. 14th to the 20th of September 2020, please. What is the message for our lovely Aries? Thank you. Message for Aries, thank you. Okay, I've got a few cards to Aries. Quite a few. <laughs> So we have organization, number 42. Purpose, planning, efficiency. Now come to me so easily. You might be putting a plan into action. Is that two cards again? Wow, you've got, you've got five cards, okay. Number nine, peace. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, align with me, peace is flame. I've got prosperity here and it's all linked to this organization. We have prosperity. As this tree grows strong, so fine, so I prosper from the universal divine. Wow. Safe home. 39, safe home. I cast this circle round about. Safety is now beyond doubt. And this is very much your energy. Creativity. By all above and all below, let me connect, let creativity flow. You know what I'm noticing, Aries? I've got to show you this because it's really strange. I mean, good in a way, good. It's good the way that the cards have come out. I've got number three. 42. Two and four make six divisible by three. 33, 3 and 9, 12, I mean 3 and 9 divisible by 3 as well, 9. <laughs> if you're seeing a lot of 3s Aries at the moment, it's a master number, I mean look it up, Num the number 3 is a master number, it means a number of things. In tarot it can be about having the ability and everything that you need to manifest something new, to so set your intention and make it happen. And I feel that's why your Queen of Wands is coming out because I'm seeing the threes all over the place. It's interesting. I don't normally pick up on that so strongly, but if you are seeing three, 33, 333, or divisible numbers of that, it's a big message from Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. Yeah, angel of wealth. That's what they're trying to bring into you. Financial flow comes easily to you. Wow. Okay. So Aries. I pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. And the fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, okay? <clears throat> when I mention signs as well, for example, Queen of Wands is Aries for me as a reader. It means that it's either relating to you, a person in your life, um, or it can well be just the energy of the card. In this instance, I feel this is you. Male or female energy. I have the Two of Cups here, Aries. 
this is your current position your challenge we have the page of cups <clears throat> the ace of cups wow is the is the advice from spirit and the king of wands card of leo for me as a reader is your outcome okay So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Okay, thank you. The Fool. The Ace of Swords. Page of Cup is clarified by the Nine of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles is clarified, is clarifying the Ace of Cups. And the Four of Swords clarifies the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I've got Death. Let's clarify this Two of Cups. <clears throat> Can we clarify this Two of Cups, please, Angel Spirits Guides, okay? Yeah, I've got the Queen of Swords here, Card of Libra. Let's clarify this King of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. I, I get that. Okay, Aries. So, I feel for some of you, I mean, there's a really nice energy of, of wealth, prosperity, growth, abundance. You will understand how to keep your home safe in whatever respect. You will understand how to protect your assets, things that are important to you. I feel that there has been a relationship split here, Aries. And I feel that you're doing the practical things that you need to do to take care of you, to take care of your world now. And that is the focus for you. And you understand how to manifest. You are being assisted by angel spirits guides. And that's why I'm seeing so many threes here. So it's a really nice energy and a message for you that even though you may have had an issue or a problem, you were also that solution by your actions. And that's what you do so well. Because it's that warrior spirit, isn't it? It's that fighting spirit. It's that undefeated energy. It is that rising to any challenge and overcoming it and not giving up until you do. So the Queen of Swords with the Two of Cups, I feel this is a, a, div a division, a split in a relationship here. Somebody you had a deep bond with certainly with this two of cups and again i'm feeling this king of wands with the queen of wands there has been a relationship split split it could have been with um the same element so sagittarius leo aries uh i'm kind of feeling that somebody who was it felt like a kindred spirit so it's been difficult to move on from i feel for you but i do feel now is the time to allow yourself to move on because I do think that things are becoming clear this is the mind energy the swords energy you're understanding what you need to do now to move on it feels and this is your current position I see you as the fool sometimes Aries you know taking that leap of faith leap of faith being the rebel energy being the revolutionary energy carving out your path um, you know batting down a path for yourself where you can't find a path it's almost kind of like things are becoming clear there is an idea illumination that is understand where you're understanding this is the opportunity this is where i need to go this is what i need to do this is where i need to take action towards now and it is a new beginning i feel this is a card of victory as well, the Ace of Swords, breakthroughs, illumination, epiphanies. Sometimes everything is suddenly becoming clear to you in how you need to move forward. 
in a new direction for some of you. The Fool is a liberation energy. And you know, he's got his arms open. There's the blind faith, blind trust here, that you're being guided by spirit, which is shining on you. And you just know that everything's gonna be okay because you are that warrior queen, warrior king, call it what you will. So it's a really nice energy of, this is somebody who is taking their power back in a situation liberating themselves from i feel it was a relationship split here listen you know the two of cups is a bond between two people so it can be to do with partnerships could be business partnerships could be to do with friendships could be a bond with another family member you know call it what you will um but i do feel that you are understanding exactly where you need to go and the decisions and choices you need to make to move on from whatever this was. You're ready for the new. Your challenge is the Nine of Wands. So there's a kind of message here, the battle is over. So why does somebody still stand guard, the wounded warrior? Why does somebody still stand guard and keep fighting? over the past it feels like you're still wrestling with the past issue and it, it that is stopping you from opening up to new opportunity new love new happiness yeah i'm definitely feeling that for some of you i'm seeing this page of cups very much linked with this ace of cups here but you know the advice from spirit aries is work through it do what you do best and again this is where that that prosperity the the focusing on things that are going to bring you security, solidity. You might be throwing yourself into work. You might be, you might be excelling in terms of your money and career. You might be doing the practical things that you need to do to work through this situation. You focus, you do one step at a time. You prioritize the tasks that you need to get through you do it's almost kind of like somebody who is focusing on something that they enjoy something practical something physical is raising and changing their energy from within now for some of you the ace of cups is a new opportunity is coming your way now, the Ace of Cups is, I mean, this can be new love. This can be new friendships, new connections, um, a new opportunity. But that's bringing you joy. So it could be in any area. It could be in terms of work. You know, the Eight of Pentacles can be about where you're getting more recognition, maybe more money as well. So it might well be for some of you that you've been evaluating your financial circumstances, there may have been a relationship split, I'm feeling for some of you, or maybe the breakup of a business partnership even. And you're just kind of thinking, how do I move forward? How do I move on from the challenges of the past? I'm gonna put my practical energy and focus it with targeted intention on what this opportunity means to you. Because Spirit is saying, this is coming your way. The only thing that's blocking it is that you need to refocus your energy from focusing on the past to doing the constructive things that you need to do to bring this in, in the present. Um, so this Ace of Cups is the cup of joy. It is bringing you happiness, fulfillment, emotional renewal, emotional rebirth. It is a new beginning. Interestingly enough, Aries, the sword is to do with the mind, where you're liberating the mind, you're moving on mentally, and this is where you're moving on emotionally as well. And it's what this does for you. It's what this Eight of Pentacles does for you. That brings the change, where you're placing your focus here. It feels definitely, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that there's been a relationship split, but some of you may well be focusing on what is going to bring you stability, security, safety into your life and putting your energy into that. There is absolutely a new opportunity coming your way. It could be new love. The Seven of, of Pentacles is, this is where, this is that turning point between these two cards, Aries, the Nine of, of Wands, somebody standing guard over the past journey and the eight of pentacles what do i do now to secure my future here to move on to secure my own future my own prosperity 
to protect my safe home, you know? This seven of coins is the evaluation. Where do I need to invest my money? Where do I need to invest my time and energy now? It's interesting because now I'm seeing that investing my time and energy on the past, standing guard over the past, is not bringing me anything. It's keeping me stuck. It's not allowing me to grow because I'm placing my energy and time in something that's not going to give me reward anymore. So this is where I need to reevaluate and focus on what is going to bring me reward, growth, success, stability, security, safety. Protect my home. You can see the home there. And that's what this card is all about. It's that evaluation of, you know, somebody, and I feel it's, a, it's either a Leo fire sign or somebody who is a perfect match for you, um, that you've been recovering from. And this is that point where you're saying, actually, I'm not going to focus on them anymore. I'm going to focus on my journey, on my path, on my energy now, and do the practical things that will bring me recovery, healing, allow me to bring positive change to open up this new chapter, this new beginning. And this is what the Seven of Pentacles is doing for you. It's allowing you to acknowledge an ending. It's allowing you, and when you acknowledge the ending, this is the alchemist's energy. You see all the white? It's the alchemist's colour of how transformation comes into your life when you acknowledge this ending because this is the phoenix rising from the ashes this is that final acceptance that you're doing with this seven of pentacles to say out with the old i'm done with what's done now what's gone i am ready for the new this is out with the old in with the new this is you are the phoenix rising from the ashes actively destroying the old and that's how you rise like the sun and i'm feeling this is very much linked to the sun in this new chapter. I love it, Aries, you know. It feels beautiful. It feels like you are going to be okay. Money and career. The cards are saying that you're going to be okay. But the amount of threes I'm seeing here, oh my goodness, you are able to just, where there's no path, Beat down that path. Carve out your own path. Because, I mean, this is air energy as well. There is illumination, clarity, the idea, the strategy, the, the know-how in how you need to apply yourself and where you need to focus your thoughts and energies to bring this victory and breakthrough. And the breakthrough is this turning point of saying, I'm done with the old. I'm ready for the new now. And that is what these energies are all about. Powerful. So I'm going to pull one more card, Aries, before we pull a fairy card to finish off this reading. Final message for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for Aries. It's a powerful turning point here. Yeah. You see, I love this energy, the Ten of Coins. This is somebody who understands how to manifest wealth. They understand how to manifest security and sustain it. And you see, it's almost kind of like, this is the practical things I need to do. This is where I need to put my energy because I'm not getting growth. I'm not getting growth. I'm not getting reward in this situation, in whatever this split has been. I'm not getting the reward from that. So I need to put my time and energy into this, into something that is going to bring me this. The breakthrough, the new beginning. There is, this is very good in terms of money and career and excelling in money and career as well, Aries. I will say um, it's a beautiful energy of also that you're being watched over by your ancestors and to make this decision and choice, you know, that's what I'm feeling with this page of cups as well. You're being guided, you're being watched over by your ancestral your ancestral line, people you've lost to the other side. Um, 
years, months, many years before. Um, they're watching over you and they're guiding you towards this. This is what this card is all about as well. So it's a beautiful energy of you are absolutely being watched over. You might also be supported by your own family too. But I do feel, Aries, that this is a really beautiful energy of there's greater value, wealth, security, stability coming your way. You will find peace. I feel you will make peace with this situation. I'm seeing that here. You will make peace with it. That energy of the Page of Cups again, it feels like you're finding your flow again. You're a really creative energy anyway, Aries. You know, you're the leader of the Zodiac. There is a creativity. There's that spark. Again, with this Eight of Pentacles, I'm seeing the organization. It's time to make a plan. It's time to put a, focus on your intention and carry it out. Make a plan. Follow a strategy. Because it's leading to this prosperity. And what it's bringing to you is all the stability, security that you need. It's a beautiful energy. Some of you might be moving in with your parents as well or living with family as well through this transitional time. But I do feel for some of you that you are absolutely going to be back on your feet in no time at all. I'm going to pull a fairy card to finish off the reading. I just keep on seeing 333. Three. You know, I'm going to put that as a heading, I think, for your... For your <laughs> yeah, for this reading, we have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. It's interesting the same spring because your sign is associated with the beginning of spring feels like that again this feeling of a new beginning here a sense of renewal and getting motivated and taking action and just I am spring cleaning I'm decluttering it's out with the old it is absolutely in with the new I love it I hope you enjoyed the reading Aries if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time thank you